Hey, beautiful people. So today we are going to finish the domestic violence episode, um, well, series. So today we're going to be going over, we already went over one through three. Today we're going to be going over four through six. So number four is insulting, demeaning, or shaming you, especially in front of other people. Number five is preventing you from making your own decisions, including about working or attending school. Number six is controlling finances in the household without discussion. And indulging um in making decisions for you like when it comes down to finances or refusing to give you money for the necessary things that you need so like the necessary things would be like food oh jesus okay i probably need to put this on the stand the necessary things would be like food milk diapers um clothes shoes water lights whatever so if you're going through that then this uh this next reading is gonna be for you um i guess i should start off with the index cards okay so this will give you like some little clues on whether or not you know it's reading for you or not okay Oh, they got really fun. You got shh, so they want you to be quiet. And they got sadness. And then they got, this is the last time. So maybe this person used to tell you to shut up all the time. Or maybe this person didn't want nobody, like, in y'all business. Or maybe, like, when somebody used to, like, try to stand up. Ooh, this thing. They don't want y'all to get this message. Or maybe, um... Or maybe, like, when somebody... Y'all, this is ridiculous okay i probably need to put put to put it on the what you call this thing but it's like this table is so big this table whatever you want to call it it's so damn big it's it seemed like i'm far away like when i put the when i put the, the camera on the the ring like, like it's just i don't know but yeah, you got nine bra. Like I feel like when somebody like try to step in and try to like take up for you, like this person may step in and be like nah bro, like on some shit like that or whatever. Like nah bro, like this ain't your fight. Like like this my fight or this ain't got nothing to do with you. You might be dealing with an Aries, but I feel like that's you know an Aries is like a boss figure, like a authority figure. So like um, it could be like a boss or it could be a fatherly figure. So course and then you got the next lifetime so y'all probably already broken up or maybe y'all have been broken up and then you got hang on right here and then you got forever and then you got grandmother granddaddy and uncle you got a little too late you got energy you got both yeah see i feel like you probably already moved away from this person but i feel like this person might be um this person might be putting on your energy okay it's something about an uncle so this like with normally with this card it could be like an uncle or it could be an aunt so an aunt may be involved a grandmother a grandfather may be involved or an aunt, an aunt or an uncle is coming to give you this message or a grandmother or a granddad is coming to give you this message okay and i feel like with that hang on um if y'all go look at the video the song is by kira sheer but i feel like um i feel like well duh this song is tied into this reading because if y'all go look at the video like the video was pretty much like um showing like you know like people going through like different like struggles like financial struggles emotional struggles mental struggles and all the other stuff inside of the video and she's just like hang on like god like god is gonna be there for you and it's so crazy because like this may well i'm gonna say this may be a message but this is a message for everybody in the beginning of the video the man he say turbulence is the price you pay you what he said turbulence is the price you pay for flying high so whenever you fly high um let me play it because i forgot what the fuck he said turbulence is the price you pay for it's the price you pay for for flying high so whenever you fly high 
remember to that's what he said remember to don't give up hang in there i wonder if they're gonna flat my video if i play it this is they don't want this message to get out now if it fall again i'll start the recording over but if it don't i'm not gonna start it over i'm not gonna re-record it i'm gonna just let y'all see that like whoever this is the industry the industry uh, the industry this person might be in the industry the end in the energy is really really strong You know, a lot of people in the in the industry don't mind sacrificing their kids, so And I don't mean like you know what I'm saying, like actually like sacrifice, but I mean like they just be like fuck them kids and just go on about their career. Like people choose fame over over their kids every day. Okay, so look, y'all hear it? But yeah, everybody clap your hands. Y'all can go listen to it. I'm about to play the uh the meditation music. I'm finna turn it back up. It's late, y'all. It's late. I've been up since five o'clock this morning, but I'm gonna push through these readings though, okay? Um but yeah. So that's significant to y'all. So let's see what else gonna come out in y'all reading. I don't even know what I need to pull first. I know I need to get some Moja cards. Divine lineage. I feel like you are chosen. They want you to, uh, I feel like you may be in a space where you finally feel safe. Or you want to get to a space where you finally like feel safe and you see how she got like the book of wisdom like a book right there so that may be like the book of wisdom so i feel like you uh you may be like a uh like this could either be like the bible or this could be like a book of spells or it could just be a book period like you probably like to read books or this could be a sign too like with this book right here that like it's time for you to like go journal so you can feel safe within yourself you can feel safe within your thoughts yeah i'm hearing like uh whatever you want to manifest like if you do like the, the, what they call it describing 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 method it's um it's gonna work it'll help you to manifest okay This message may also be for like a mother that has like a that has like a young child or whatever. Remember when I was like, um, remember when I was like, when I said the person they may be like controlling like with the finances, like when it come down to like uh like for for necessary stuff that you need like uh like water milk for the baby you know what i'm saying like lights food just the necessary stuff like this may be a message for you okay and this person probably was like a false twin flame as well and i feel like like since you started messing with that person like your money slowed down and that was like the number one sign that like you was supposed to go the other way okay it's like the message that I'm hearing right now, too, is follow the beat of your drum. So, like, whatever your heart is telling you at the moment, like, follow it or listen to it, okay? And they want you to stop beating yourself up about the betrayal that happened in your life. It's crazy because I'm going to read... 
the book what it say about betrayal because i remember the last time when i read it it was pretty much saying like 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 who betrayed who like you it was pretty much saying like like you betrayed yourself yeah so it says um the shadow guidance for this betrayal card it says who really betrayed you betrayals from others mirrors you betraying yourself Betrayal is a web that disrupts everything you thought you knew. Use discernment in your relationships. Betrayal makes it difficult to trust, but without trust, your relationships are a lie. Trust that no matter what happens and no matter how long it takes, you will survive and thrive. The real question is, how have you betrayed and abandoned yourself? And the affirmation is, I am willing to know the truth. So I feel like that, I feel like that is the truth. It's like, in a sense, like you betrayed yourself because all of the red flags was there, but you still decided to go along with the situation. So you betrayed yourself. So they want you to go back and forgive yourself and come up with a plan. So when you place in that situation again, you'll trust your discernment the first time. You'll trust your gut feeling, your nudges. You know, however God talks to you, your signs, whatever, your synchronicities, you'll trust it and you'll act on it as soon as it happens. And you won't be that person sitting around trying to wait to see how shit going to play out when you already see that that you you didn't have a seat at the table. You was a you was a. a you was part of the menu, not part of the table. If you catch my drift. Okay. So right here you have assimilation. And you also have unity. So we're going to read assimilation first. So you've probably been saying 999 or 919. Um, this is going to help to assist with spiritual discipline, transformation, and willpower. The benefits it helps to optimize digestion and assimilation of nutrients. Supports the kidneys and adrenal glands. Cultivates determination and commitment to releasing self-limiting beliefs. The affirmation is, I assimilate of all of life's events with ease and grace. Okay? So your next card right here is unity. You've probably been saying 888. This is going to help to assist with unification, clarity, equilibrium. You've probably been like a little off balance. So this is going to help you to get back into balance. The benefits it helps to support the nervous and endocrine systems. Improve mental clarity. Activates pituitary gland awareness awareness of all senses the affirmation is clarity fills all of my senses leading me to unity in everything so you may be good gaining like new clarity or new not or new knowledge on your situation and they tell you to just stay balanced as more details come out but they still want you to to i'm hearing like lay to rest so maybe you just lay somebody to rest or maybe they just telling you to just go ahead and surrender and to lay the situation to rest okay they tell you to have compassion for the people that hurt you especially if they openly admitted that they did do whatever they did on purpose that they had bad intentions from the jump they just want you to just be to, to be quiet about it and it's like just face the facts or just accept the fact that you betrayed yourself okay so the assisted, um, this, this is going to have to assist with compassion, joy, and harmony, which is funny because um, it's, it's joy on this card. So it's like all of the red flags was there, but it's like you still decided to, to, stay, to, to, to stay in the situation. So by you staying in the situation, it's nobody's fault but yours. So instead of you being mad at yourself, instead of you still being upset with these people, you just need to take a step back and just and, and just forgive yourself and just be like you know what i'm just not gonna put myself in that situation again you know what i'm saying and just have compassion for those people because you're not responsible for handing out karma god is so you can't worry about that you just gotta move forward and just thank god that you made it out alive and thank god that you know what i'm saying that you got your beautiful children out of the picture okay so the benefits is going to help to relieve allergies and nasal congestion it's going to help to assist with your immune system, opens and directs breath to head and sinuses. 
the affirmation is i sense and open to perfect balance and understanding okay so your next card right here is trust you've probably been seeing 999 they want you to trust the process this is going to help to assist with security support and trust the benefits it helps to reduce anxiety and blood pressure supports the muscular skeletal system cultivates a sense of trust and support helps to facilitate optimal eliminate elimination the affirmation is i rest in the knowledge of truth trust and support your next card right here is fearlessness you probably been saying 10 10 they want you to move forward without fear um and what i mean by like without fear is like not thinking that you're not gonna find like real genuine people as far as like a partner a friendship um a relationship or just a job period like they are going to come along this is going to help to assist with safety courage and steadfastness the benefits help to reduce anxiety supports elimination cultivates a sense of fearlessness and grounding the affirmation is my courage and self-aware assurance is unwearing unwavering i'm sorry so your next card right here is nourishment. So I feel like they're telling you that it's time for you to take care of your womb. I feel like you should eat you like some carrots or like some pumpkin seeds um, or like some oranges or some peaches or some mangoes or something. I feel like that's going to be really, really good for your sacral chakra. This is going to help to assist with inner nourishment, breath, and serenity. The benefits it helps to promote abdominal breathing, provides relief for asthma, supports reproductive, illuminatory, and urinary systems, directs breath to sacrum, lower back, and pelvis. The affirmation is my natural breath flows in calm and nourishing ways. Oh, it's about to go dead. So let me finish this. So I'm going to finish this reading and then I'm going to charge up my phone and do the rest of them. Which that'll be perfect because it'll give it time to upload this video because sometimes it takes a oh, damn 24, 48 hours just to upload one video. So that's cool. That's perfect. Okay. So that was another thing I forgot to tell y'all too. Um, this group need to work. Y'all need to work on y'all sacred chakra, but y'all also need to work on y'all heart chakra as well. So y'all don't allow people to pull on y'all heart screens. The, the herb for y'all is chlorophyll, okay? Um, all right, so you have selfhood. So I feel like you finally accepting the fact that you're about to take this journey alone. Okay, then you have laughter, they want you to laugh more. Um, you also have victim, they telling you to stop feeling like you was a victim, like you was a victim when you was in your crisis, but you're no longer in that crisis. I also feel like, too, they telling you that um, you probably need to start to go see like a therapist because you probably got PTSD from your situation. But what's going to help to calm down like your anxiety and your depression and all that stuff, all you have to do is just go out in nature or maybe like go swimming or something to go by a lake or go by a pond and you'll be fine okay let's get you some crystals and then we're gonna go ahead and close your reading now oh we're gonna get you some affirmations you have orange calcite okay so it says where who needs it artists is holding the proverbial the per verbiable paintbrush and staring at the purple uh, the blank canvas anyone who says life needs a little more um um life where to put it the honeymoon suite or the studio when to use it when you want to make something beautiful orange calcite energy is all about breaking through the fog and the fear that hang on the path to creation that's funny because the create creativity card is right here on top so your sacred chakra is blocked that's why you can't create no ideas for, for yourself because your sacred chakra is black. When you want to add some energy to your creative process or take on the camera sutra one page at a time, get with the orange calcite sun kiss vibes to unlock your creativity, okay? So let's get you some affirmations and then we're going to put this bad boy on the charger. That was pretty much like straight to the point, right? So I got two more videos to record after this. All right, so your affirmation is the door that closes for me is the wrong door. The door that opens for me is the right door. So keep the door closed. Don't allow the door to open back. All right. I give myself permission to switch off my mind 
and have some fun. Maybe that's why my uh, my phone going die. You probably been spending too much time on your phone, or maybe too much time on your computer. It's time you to have some fun. It's time you to go out. If you're still single, go out, go play, go date. Go invest in yourself and go heal your heart so you can bring in that love that you want to bring in, okay? So those are your messages number two. We're going to continue three and four once we get this thing charged up, okay, y'all? Peace. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Like, comment, subscribe. If you would like to book a reading, um, you can click the book the reading link in the uh description box i don't know why i want to say bio okay in the description box if you have any domestic violence issues call 1-800-SAFE they can help you um like i said you can get a reading i'm gonna say this in all the videos somebody try to kill you call 911 i'll see y'all in the next video and i'll see y'all in the weeklies be blessed stay prayed up stay protected Deuces.